so as in previous video part one i have shown how how you can create a simple notepad and then uh, not creating a simple notepad but training uh, pockets phoenix with the help of simple notepad having some uh, keyword loaded get a dictionary file and an lm file paste it into model folder and then you're good to go so the next step that comes is uh, what all required modules that you need apart from pockets phoenix so one is a uh, speech recognition package which is uh, python speech recognition package and um, there there is a file which i'm going to give a link which contain all the installation steps whatever needed for all these packages but uh, we need speech underscore recognition because it helps in both scenarios uh, for working with uh, pockets phoenix as well as working with online google uh, uh, google uh, speech recognition so it interact with it and then give a response back uh, this is uh, an easier way to um, to interact with google so i i love this package using that um, the other one is google speech um, this is uh, like text to speech conversion for one that we need to speak it out loud so this will help giving your system basically giving a voice to that system um in in microsoft we have sapi um, but in uh, linux we have i think echo is there and there are other more but i want to make it kind of versatile as much as i may so this is a python based package and if you install it the the functioning is almost same then so this is this is this i found more easy and perfect to work with so this is for giving speech to your system then the third is SQLite SQLite there is a small DB that I've uh, created uh, the next step can be using neural networks and for this but till date uh, I need to store somewhere uh, the request uh, the question of the uh, query the keywords and the response of those keywords respective keywords so I have stored them into database uh, which is SQLite. Uh, the best part is I don't have to do a lot of installation, so it's it's good. Then you need um, sorry, it's I didn't mention that before, but you need SQLite DB browser too. Um, not everybody is good with the uh, terminals, so the command base uh, interaction. So uh, SQLite DB browser will help you actually to. Uh, manage your DB in a proper way and in a better way so it is needed uh, then we jump to NLTK now NLTK is a, is a, is a huge help right now because it just does not didn't just improve your uh, working but it is it is helping you more to uh, giving us proper um, sentences to to the speech systems basically so for example in NLTK um, how to install NLTK and what all things are needed that is uh, being shared with uh, with the note file which is available at Git I'll share the link below in the video and uh, this NLTK we are going to use to basically uh, uh, grab the sentence and one sentence at a time to process and give it to Google underscore speech package this package so that it's it's easy for this package to speak a single sentence and if you give a lot of um, punctuations and different exclamation marks to it 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 actually synthesize that sentence I try to understand that sentence and then it's going to speak it out loud so that that is a problem because it takes more time as comparison to NLTK because NLTK is basically trained into it, right? So it's it's way better to use NLTK, uh, convert or uh, actually improve uh, the uh, the inputs with the particular sentences and then pass it to Google Speech. It will actually increase your speech. I've noticed it out, so it's it's way easy to do it. Um, and then random so. Basically, I as I have already been said many times that I don't want one to one response. I want one to many response, and that too, it should change also. So the permutation combination it's 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 for both end. It's not just for particular input. So 
for that random is needed so all these package files you could go with these we can simply pr uh, proceed further um, so this is this will be all part one for this uh, for DB browser you can simply uh, google it and this is the website where I downloaded this um, DB browser I'll give a small introduction with this but I guess I will open it somewhere yeah so this is how your uh, DB looks like what you can simply do is um, let's let's open a database and let me go with the particular file so I think I place it in documents I get and this so this is this is actually my DB that I'm using so let me explain small part of this DB so let's make it more useful to you guys okay so you see functions you see response you see keywords and the counts so counts I'm just making it to be more specific I think much for the count column you can ignore that if you want but the keywords are basically the questions right you can see I have use many types of questions here so yes this will help and one thing that you have noticed also you should notice actually one is capital apart from other are small smaller why it is uh, basically I will show you that at this it will fail but on others it won't uh, the best part is sometime you speak something um, in, a, in a shout way so it, it's a it's an understanding by the Google system that if you speak something at a high pitch, it's in caps. If you speak something in a low pitch, it's it's a normal, smaller uh, case. So in those scenarios, it's better to put your speech converted into lower cases every time. So others are lower, but this will be high. And I'll I'll give you a hint again for this in the upcoming videos when I'm going to show you that for this it's going to say that. I'm not trained on his because this is this is a capital letter that is a small letter I'm not going to work for this so I'll tell you I'll tell you the entire thing that will work but for now just understand that it's way better that if you create data for yourself better to create for a lowercase letter for everything because if you convert it into a lowercase it's more option that you can use it easily and you know what input it is so you can uh, suppress that probability of getting failure in your systems then you see uh, with a single response I have used a typical symbol which is an R symbol and using this symbol I'm going to split the uh, split the string getting different responses and once you get this string splitting it into it the string is converted into a list and then the module that I said random that will come to the picture because then within that list you're going to select a random response and speak it out loud so this is basically you're going to help with the DB uh, DB browser this is gonna help you really good then let's jump back to the one that is NLCK so this is the step that you're going to find in my text file also which is uh, I'm going to share in the below video I think this is the third time I'm saying the same sentence Wow but this is gonna help you to install NLTK then once you install NLTK you need to do a, a particular command that is also available because you installing NLTK is just just a just a just a document just it's just a file it's, it's not going to help you actually you need to install you need to download the packages which are available in NLTK they're going to help you uh, for the furthermore uh, the application the use of NLTK that I've did in this uh, speech recognition it's it's quite less because I I've just use a, a sentence tokenizer there there is a lot more uh, which is available and it's quite good NLTK we may use it in the future but right now I've just used this much and I'm able to achieve what I want so but this is this is really good uh, library to work with it's, it's really good with that way so this is NLTK and any other specific thing that I want to tell you about it. So SQLite is uh, if you're using Python 3 SQLite is already there built in so no installation needed whoopee. 
uh, for Google speech and speech recognition package the installation command is quite easy you simply you can simply go and install it uh, though it is it will be available in the text file that I'm going to share in the comment uh, in the description of this video fifth time fourth time I've said it so yeah <laughs> That's all. That's uh, that is all needed for uh, getting a kickstart. So, part one, I've shown you how you can uh, create a trained uh, two files. These two files, paste it in the source file, and then we are good to go. Then I told you the DB, the the modules that you're going to use it. Uh, I guess in the next, I'm going to share you how you can actually start working and what all codes are needed. So we're good to go. Good to go. Uh, that's all. Thank you.